Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Lutra FM. Um, thank you for the previous people that viewed my Twitch stream last, and thank you for the subscribers to my YouTube channel. Um, much appreciated. I always appreciate everybody support, basically. Um, a bit all over the place at the moment because I was trying to set everything up, and it just one thing after the other. It's just uh yeah you, unless you're creating content you probably won't understand the frustrations but yeah got it all set up now 10 minutes late i wanted to edit my everton video for later uh for today i wanted to basically upload it but it took a while to edit so i'm gonna have to start that again at some point later on after i finish this but let's uh Let's crack on with Newcastle save and see how we get on. But um, just making sure my mic's all. So I've got a dodgy USB lead on here, so the slightest touch will stop the mic from working. So I'm trying to keep it stable. There we go. I think that'll be all right for today. I'm hoping so. Uh, any audio issues, please let me know in the chat. Yeah, I hope everybody's having a nice day today. It's bloody freezing today, isn't it? absolutely freezing um i don't know if you can see you should be able to see i have a newcastle united top on here you go it's a bit tight on me for the belly on that um it's a bit tight on me so i apologize for scarring anybody there with it then i just sort of showed them my belly but yeah it's a bit tight it's a 2xl i couldn't get one on a 3xl that was cheap enough so this will have to do but um i've got a jumper on underneath because it is freezing in my flat because I haven't been here for the last few days so I turn off the heating when I'm not here save on money um but yeah right let's crack on so just to do a recap for people who are just joining the stream uh last time you were with us I think we but I can't I think we I think we played yeah we were at January when we, when, when we joined back the other day so didn't start very well, but we managed to pick things up. And we're now on a winning streak of one, two, three, four, five games in a row. Granted, two of them are against very rubbish teams in the uh, Champions League, but I'll take what I can get. And we've still got February, March, and April and May to do. We are currently seventh in the league. Not ideal, especially when you've got teams that have got games ahead of us as well to play. So we've just got to keep winning and just hope for the best. Um, I think realistically, we're probably going to be aiming for top six now instead of top four. And uh, originally, we were, I was going to say we were title contenders as, as we won the title last season. But yeah, it's just one of them. Anyway, we've got Nottingham Forest now. Not Notts Forest, because they hate being called Notts Forest, but Nottingham Forest. So we've got Pope and Goal, Diamande on the, as right back. Coates in the centre of defence with Ineccio, Libramento, Libramento, sorry, on the left, there, Tonali and Joe Linton in the midfield. I can't get my words out to that, I'm so sorry. Joe Linton and Tonali in the middle of the midfield, Correa on the right, Pedro Gonzalez in the middle, of, and then Gordon on the left, and Isaac up front. Yeah, just give me a few minutes in that while I get warmed up. I, I promise I won't be as bad eventually. Um, Yeah, hello to anyone that's in the chat room at the moment. Feel free to post a message in there. Right there. Knott's Forest look like they've got the first highlight. Um, dreading the Man United game today. I think we're playing Wigan in the FA Cup. Quarter past eight. Got a feeling Wigan are going to beat us. Uh, Wigan actually beat Man City in the FA Cup years ago because I actually put tenner on them to win at half time because um, Man City had a player sent off just before the first half and it was nil nil and I went sod it. This is when I was gambling a bit. I don't really gamble much now, but I decided to put a tenner on Wigan to win because they were still really good odds to win or something like that. And they 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 won one nil. I, th I think it was Will Grip that scored the the deciding goal. 
And I think I won 100 quid off a tenner. So, I, yeah, they were 9 to 1 to win. So, yeah. FA Cup, anything can happen. Yeah, a bit of a quiet first half this one to start the stream, but hopefully it'll pick up a bit now. Oates now plays it forward to um, Korea. Korea now to Diamande. Diamande getting a bit ambitious there with the shot. Saved by the goalie. Let's see what we can do from this corner. So I've been on uh, nurse duty this the last couple of days. My poor girlfriend's got some sort of like viral infection. Don't know if it's a cold or. Uh, so she's she's been very poorly. So I've been trying to look after her. And so um, I, I just I, luckily I was able to get back to mine for uh, quite early. The plan was to stay with her today, but she's a little bit better that she feels like she can be alright on her own. So um, I'm leaving her to it. She'll probably mostly just be asleep for the rest of the day. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to edit my Everton video for later on tonight. I wanted to release it earlier, but these things happen sometimes. And then tomorrow I'm going to try and do most of the episodes for the Everton save tomorrow and just try and record them all. And then all I've got to do is edit them in the week, which is not, it is time consuming, but um, get it done. Oh, here we go. Playing some nice football here. Gordon now. Would he shoot? He does, I think. Oh, I don't know. Bit of a boring game to start the stream, isn't it? See if we can get a win. I mean, we're all over Nottingham Forest. They've had one shot, and we've had eight. We've had fifteen shots, seven on target. Should have stopped there, scored two goals. We've been quite disappointing in the attacking third. You watch now, Nottingham Forest will score. Oh no, they didn't. I thought I was going to get FM then. Right, Gonzalez is not playing particularly well, so we'll sub him. Put Suarez there. Take off Isaac, and we'll put Austin Hen. Who I think has just come back from injury, so that's probably why he's on the sub sponge. Yeah, hopefully he can come back now and hit his stride a bit. Yeah, I hope everybody had a nice weekend. Let me know what you've been up to in the chat. Like I said, I, I had a nice chilled out weekend. I had um, me and my partner, we had a Chinese and it was really nice. I had battered pork balls. Yes, go on, Diamande. 1-0. I had battered pork balls, chips, and the special curry, which had chicken, beef, and prawns, and it was really nice. So, yeah, and I didn't do much on Sunday. I did the... I did the editing of, of a video, and that's about it, really. I chilled out most of the yesterday. Glad to be home, though. With, with no disrespect to my girlfriend, it's always nicer to be at your own place. Got a corner now. Oh, nearly. At least we're 1-0 up, though, because I'd have been really annoyed if we didn't win this game, the amount of chance we've had. Your Monday is in is knackered, but we can't take him off. Not long now, though. See out the game. That is that. Uh, yeah, we'll just praise him. All right. Well, we've got three days. Let's go on holiday for three days. Did um, any of your teams do well in the FA Cup or have you support? If you, you are, if you are from the UK, sorry. I know there was other domestic cups happening. There was the Spanish Copa del Rey. There was the, I think, the Copa Italia. Um, what was the other one? Maybe it was the German Cup. I don't know. I'm having a kind of Lewis Hamilton monster today.
I'm going to give a shout out to FM uh, Llama, one of my favourite uh, content creators for Football Manager. He doesn't he doesn't pick the big teams. He likes to pick small teams, and he's very knowledgeable on a lot of countries' leagues and teams and fallen giants. So I'd recommend you give FM Llama a watch at some point or follow his videos on YouTube. Seems like a really nice bloke as well, so fair play to him. It's nice to see him doing well. Um, but yeah, all right, let's see how we get on with this. Not that I'm asking you to suddenly leave this stream and go and watch him, but yeah. I, rec I definitely recommend FM L L A M A Llama. Um, we've signed a rubbish backup goalkeeper, but he'll do for now. Joe Linton's out for two months, that's not good. A bit light in defence midfield, especially now we've got Busquets out as well. We'll add him to the shortlist because he's a defensive mid. Oh no, he's attacking midfield. What he was defensive midfielder. Bruno back. Bruno's back to light training, so maybe in the next game he can come on and play. We've got we're six now in the league, and we've got Brighton next. We're doing well. We're winning. We won. I think we won our sixth game. Six game in the road just now. That's good. Luis Suarez is not happy. But, I mean, at your age, Mr. Suarez, and you've got players better than you ahead of you, it is expected. All right. So who have we got now? So, playing Brighton now. We've got Sherpin in goal again. We definitely need to improve the goalkeeper position at the moment. We are not very, not doing very well in the goalkeeper position. Um, Sherpin's doing all right. Like I said, he's doing better than Pope's done this season. So he stays in the team for for, for doing well, for merit. Anyway, um, we've got Trippier's right back, Mancini back in defence with Botman, Target on the left, Tenali in the middle with Pedro Gonzalez, Messi on the right, Brahim Diaz, and Bra Brahim Diaz in the middle, Anthony Gordon on the left, and Isaac up front. See if we can carry on with this unbeaten run that we're on. I don't think we've lost a game in about eight games. I could be wrong though. I think we drew two and lost two, but I can't remember which order they were in. I can't remember if we drew the two games and then lost two all the way around. Yeah. Right. Brahim loses the ball. Now in the possession of Brighton, what can they do? Hopefully nothing. Hopefully we'll put enough pressure to deter them. Oh, are they going to play silly baggers here and get caught on? Oh, they are. Right, Tenali drives it forward now. Let's score on. Absolute defensive error there by their goalkeeper. And we've benefited from it. We're now up to fifth in the league if this if the way it's going now. Obviously, things could change as the game goes on, but it's only six minutes into the game. If it stays like this, we, we're, we're slowly climbing up that table where we want to be. Oh, for God's sake. Me and my big mouth, eh? Right. Let's try and encourage them. Maybe that'll help. Only 11 minutes into the game. There's no need to panic just yet. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Messi, oh, lucky Messi. I thought that was going to be a penalty to us then when Diaz got fouled, but oh well. Right, Messi lines up the corner. Crosses it in nicely. Gets defended well. Pedro back to Messi. Messi with the pass. Dummy by... Oh, it was offside, that's why. I thought that was a dummy by Mancini then. Oh, yeah, oh, oh. Oh, Oheima oh, Harry. I hope I've done that right. Nice to meet you. I'm all right, buddy. How are you? Are you having a nice day? I'm just going to call you Harry if that's all right, mate, because I can't. I don't think I can pronounce that bit right. I keep thinking it's Ohio when it's not. So explain if you can explain to me what that 
Oh, hi, my means. I would appreciate it. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Now I've got into my stride on my stream. I'm all right. The first five minutes, I was all over the place. Oh, hello, Harry. All right, buddy. Oh, okay. What's the OHIMA mean, then? I'm trying to figure it out. Has it, got, has it got a particular meaning? For people who don't know, Harry's a Man United fan like me, so we... Uh... We look at, I look, I, and we're not that we look out for each other, but we, we have similar. Unfortunately, we've got similar things in, in common when we when it comes to our team, aren't we? Are you uh, are you looking forward to the Wigan game? <laughs> I'll never ever ever. I'll always always appreciate uh, De Gea, even though you. I know. Yeah, me and me and Harry, we have a disagreement on. David De Gea, um, and I, I still wish he was there, but I'm all about nostalgia. I still wish Peter Schmeichel was there, but yeah, can't all get what we want. But yeah, Messi just scored 2-1 up. Are you going to the Wigan game? Oh, okay. It might be worth you putting the tenor on Wigan, by the way. They might have be decent odds, and I'm, I know that's a bit horrible with me saying that about my team. Oh, 3-1, get in. Is that going to be allowed? VAR interfering, as always. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, 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 it's not all right. No, no, sorry. I thought that was then, then. Right. Make a sub. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you have fun at the, uh, at the Wigan game, mate. I'll be watching it on TV, and I'll be hiding behind my sofa. I've just got a feeling. Because there wasn't any upsets in the FA Cup uh, yesterday. Um, there was a few draws, but there was, no, there was nobody that lost. So I've just got a feeling that Wigan might do it. Because they've got nothing to lose, and I don't think the players will be bothered. What do you reckon, Harry? Do you reckon we'll just crash them, or do you think we'll, uh, it'll be a tough game for us? I'm hoping some of the young players get played, like Hannibal and that. Yes, go on, Tenali. Beautiful little header. Easy 4-0, four, four what's a Wigan? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I think there'll be goals. I think there'll be definitely goals. I'm just hoping it's goals for Man United and not for Wigan. What are the odds on Wigan to win? I might, I might put a cheeky tenner on, on Wigan because at least if my team loses, I'm making money. They were 9-1 to one to beat Man City all them years ago. and they, I, think they're a bit, I think they're in a worse position now than they were back then. It'd definitely be worth a cheeky little bet. Not that I'll probably... I don't know if I'll bother though. Oh, look at that. Isaac with the classy little finish. Yeah, if you ever want to get a rise out of Harry, all you've got to say is to hate it, that you missed a hate it, it'll wind him up. <laughs> Not that I actually do it to wind you up, by the way, Harry. I'm genuinely just very biased towards De Gea. Um, I'm not saying... I don't... I, I think Nana's played... Okay, the last few games he's kind of redeemed himself a bit to a point. Um, I know he's not the worst goalkeeper we've ever had at Man United, but I just think we can do better. But uh, it's 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 having the it's having the fun to do it until Sir Jim Radcliffe has got his stamp on the on the transfer. We are just stuck. I don't think he's gonna be. I don't think he's gonna have that that percentage in, in place until after the January window, so I don't think we'll be signing many players in the January window. But hopefully I'll be surprised and we will buy some players. Reckon we'll sign anybody, Harry? Yeah, yeah, like a more, like a weg, weg horse. We we'll probably won't really make it. I mean, Weghorst did all right, actually. He didn't score any goals, but he did do well with the overall play, I think. I think, um, I think as daft as it sounds, I think him and him and Hoyland would have made a good little striker unit. It'd be like He'd be like Emil Heskey, just laying the ball off to Hoyland. But yeah. We're after uh, Joshua Kimmage, aren't we? I don't think we'll sign him, though. I think it'll cost us too much. More likely to try and sign him in the summer once Radcliffe has definitely got 
foot in, foot in the door. Uh, see if I can get a new contract at Newcastle. We can do a warm weather training camp. And let's see if we can get some under 18 coaches. We've got Liverpool next. Did we just play a game two seconds ago? Hold on. Play Bright oh yeah, we played Brighton. Oh, I must have forward it quickly, I didn't realise. Yeah, I miss I wish we still had uh, I wish Cavani did better than he did. He did alright. I thought he was a decent striker, Cavani, but again, we're just getting dribs and drabs, aren't we, to make do like Igalo and players like that. We shouldn't be signing them players really. You know, last time we signed an old player that did relatively well was Henrik Larson and, and that was a long time ago now. Right, Pope in goal, Trippier on the right, Coates and Cote, sorry, in Botman, Target, Bruno Gomez, Tenali, Messi, Almiron, Pedro Gonzalez, and Osime is back, so hopefully that will work in our favour. Oh yeah, it's a lot of the, a lot of these yeah, a lot of this, these these players now they'll just use Man United as a way to try and get a new contract. I know what you mean, mate. We've become a bloody laughing stock, haven't we? Uh, I hope Liverpool don't win the, the Premiership this year because you know what it's like, the Liverpool fans on the forum, they're just, ugh, the less I say about them, the better because I don't want them to take it personally. I just think they're a bit a bit smug at times, but yeah, they're, not, they're nice people enough. They're nice enough people, though, don't get me wrong. Just, we'll, we'll never get on simply because of the fact that they're Liverpool fans and I'm a Man United fan. I feel like it's a it's a nice it's a nice rivalry. It's not it's not like I wish death on them or anything. Harry knows what I'm on about. He knows what the Liverpool fans are like on the farm. He probably agrees with me to a point. <laughs> not trying to shit stir there, uh, Harry. I'm not trying to get you in shit there, mate. Liverpool all over us, unfortunately. Feel like they don't know what they're doing with the ball though. They just seem to be passing it backwards. Oh, there you go, driving it forward. Oh, I watched a, a decent fil comedy film last night on Netflix. Um, Queen, Queen Pins with Kirsten Dunst in it. It was a quite good comedy based on a true story. I think about this woman who basically started getting mass like loads of these coupons produced. And selling them so uh it was quite good watch to be honest it was a good film it was quite a funny film right one nil down let's try and do something about this let's try and encourage the team see if that helps we've been we've been the better team overall really because look like i said we've had just as many shots at them but we've, we've had a better xg we've just not been able to finish it off we have the problem of having a relatively small squad, so we it, we do struggle to rotate. So we've got like players getting knackered after half after half the match, like Tenali and that. I need to take Tenali off, I think. Right. Uh, who can we get Anderson left to do then? Right, and then we'll. I believe that's that. Yeah, hope you're having a nice day, Harry. Like I said, um, hope you have a nice time at the Wigan game. And uh, apparently, Wigan do really good match food. I don't know. I can't remember if that's true or not. Or maybe I've maybe I've made that up in my head. Ah, oh, two nil down. Come on, VAI, help us out. Give us a chance. I don't want to lose this game because I want to keep that winning streak going. I want to. I want to at least be undefeated. I don't want to be. Uh... Yeah, apparently Wigan's got really good match food. Um, Anybody watching this afterwards on YouTube, if you're a Wigan fan, please feel free to comment and let me know if uh, if Wigan do in fact have a really good match food. Harry will probably tell me in a second anyway when I have a look. Uh, we'll take a few of these players off now. I don't I don't think we're gonna uh, I don't think we're gonna get anything out of this game, but at least we can do is rest some of the players. 
Here we go. Can we make something out of nothing here? Can we give us a shot of uh, getting a draw at least? Diamande drives it forward across to target. Target now. Well, he crosses it in beautifully, but goes straight into keep sands. Allison now taking forever with the goal kick. No, he throws it out. Come on, let's get a goal. Let's try and let's try and give us a chance. But Liverpool look more likely to score here. That bloody Mo Salah. The sooner he retires, the better. For God's sake. Ah oh, well, you can't win them all. Um. Yeah, my uh, my Everton save. I decided to and uh, create a tactic from scratch and, and using my best players. And I thought it was just going to be a disaster because I thought the, the tactic was just going to be all over the place. But it worked out really well, to be honest. It worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Um, but yeah, doing all right. So yeah, feel free to have a look on my YouTube channel, Luch FM, on there. I've currently got four episodes of the. Everton say the first episode it's got a little bit better when it comes to editing as I've gone along so you'll just have to bear with this as I'm trying to learn how to get better at that so yeah but I'm always looking for feedback on that so feel free to leave a comment let me know because I want to try and get as good as possible at doing this to make it better content for you because I can be entertaining as hell but then if you're watching up a chopped up quality video you're then going to get put off by watching it. So I've got to try and get better at that. But yeah, just let me know. I do appreciate the people on the OTF forum as well that's helped me in my, in my, on my journey as when I started the, the, the thread about it about four weeks ago. So sometimes I've not took the criticism in the right way because I'm a sensitive sod. But um, in general, I do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we haven't got a game now for 13 days. Um, what we'll do, we'll go on holiday. I'll just chill out for a minute. For anybody interested on my YouTube channel, I'm currently got 563 subscribers. Which ain't too bad considering I only started it about two weeks ago. Obviously, I did cheat a little bit. I did use this um, promotion with YouTube after watching this video. So a lot of them are just bots. But on the plus side, um, my watch hours has doubled in the last seven days. Not that it's, not that it's much. It's only 39.4, but obviously I appreciate anybody watching it. And also as well, since I've started the Everton series on YouTube, I'm getting a lot. Uh, I've had like eight returning viewers, which may not seem like much, but to me it means a lot because it shows me that they're not bots that are doing that because bots don't return to watch something, they just watch it. So yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, yeah. Getting there slowly. I want it to be a bit more organic now, so I've not done any more. I did one more promotion, but that was on the Everton video just to see how that did. But other than that, I haven't, I'm not going to be doing any more promotions now. I'm going to just try and hope that the... Oh, we've got nine returning viewers now. Um, yeah, I just want to try and grow it organically, basically. Yeah, I appreciate the support from people on the forum and like Harry and uh, my friends as well that have just joined, even though my one particular friend, Dan, doesn't know much about football because he doesn't watch it. He's not into football, but still watches me on Twitch just to give me that extra viewer and stuff. So I do appreciate people like that. Thank you to the other people that's just joined the chat room. Hello, nice to meet you. Come and say hello in the chat. Let me uh, let me get to know you a bit more if you want. Let me know what you think of David De Gea. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be back on holiday in a second. Two more days to go. One more day now. All right, we're back from holiday. Let's see how many injuries we've got from the internationals. 
the people that just joined the chat room, just to give you a general quick uh, catch up if you're new to it, basically I decided to start saving Newcastle just to get me used to streaming and content creating. Um, so it's a bit of an easy save, but um, this season's not been easy. I won the title in my first season, and then this season I'm not. I'm lucky to be. I think I'm seventh or sixth or seventh at the moment. So I just went on a little run of six wins in a row and then lost to Liverpool. So I'm just hoping I don't lose the next game and I can try and build that momentum back up. But yeah, I managed to win the title in the first season and then I signed Lionel Messi and Victor Osimhen, and then I signed like few of Messi's mates like Luis Suarez and Jordi Alba and Sergio Busquets. So yeah, so the squad's quite small, but we've got a decent core of a, of a team. We just we just if we get a few injuries, we're kind of screwed. So I'm hoping to try and spread the next bit of money that I get on, in the summer. I'm hoping to try and use that to buy some young players that can be good squad players to give me a bit more depth. Gets injured. Well, Skets is always getting injured. He's been a bit of a. I mean, he is old, so it is expected. But yeah, he's been a bit of a rubbish signing, to be honest. Lionel Messi has made some improvements in training. I mean, Jesus Christ, the man shouldn't be that bothered about it. But he's 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 thirty seven years old. This is why he's the goat, and he's still improving. Absolutely ridiculous. This that man is greatest player of all time, Messi. Some might argue that Ronaldo and uh, Pele and Maradona are probably the greatest of all time, but as far as I'm concerned, it's Messi. There's no one else. Just uh, praise Livramento. See, as a Man United fan, I'd be biased and say Eric Cantona was the greatest player of all time. Actually, I should be saying Beckham, shouldn't I? I should be saying David Beckham or Christine Ronaldo, Christine O Ronaldo because of the fact that that's my name on the uh, on the forums. But I uh, I was always a big Cantona fan. I think you become I think your fans are players more as a kid than when you are as an adult. As an adult, I don't think you get attached to players like you do as much as you did when you were a kid. So I think whenever somebody talks about the greatest player ever, I think you always go back to the players that you remember as a child. Which is natural anyway. We all we, nostalgia is the biggest addiction ever. There is nothing more addictive than nostalgia. Right then, so our next game up now is Tottenham in the Premiership at home, and we've got Pope in goal, Trippier's right back, Cotes and Botman in centre defence, Target on the left, Bruno Gomez with Tonali in the middle of the midfield, Messi on the right, Raheem Diaz in the middle, and Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and then Osimhen is up front. See how we get on. I'm hoping we can beat Spurs. Quiet so far. 14 minutes. Tottenham slightly above us in the league. If we beat them, we obviously go above them, but they have got a game in hand. We really do need to win this game, and then we've just lost possession of the ball, which is not ideal. Maybe we'll just have to settle with top six. At least we'll get some European football next year. Not that it's amazing. I don't really like I don't really bother with the Europa League. I feel like a team like Newcastle should be a top four team every year with the money that we get to spend. We've got Ossimhen and no Messi. 37, but we've got Messi and we've got Tonali, who's a brilliant midfielder with Gamerez. Otman's a great defender. Trippier, even though he's old, he's very good. So we should be um, doing better than we are. I just think the, I think the, the, I think it's not necessarily quality, it's quantity. We haven't got enough quality players. That will hopefully get improved in the summer, like I said. We'll see. I'll have a look when this game finishes to see how much money we've got to spend in the summer. Obviously, that changes as well. Depending on what we do. Raheem Diaz with the goal there. Good, good. Finally got a goal. Hopefully, I'll be happy now if we just grind this game out and just get the 1-0 win. We don't need to we don't need to win every game 4 or 5-0. We just need to get the wins. 
Tottenham and now Saar just floats past us like we're nothing. Luckily, he's not that good at finishing, so um, he didn't score. If that was Son or Kaleveski or whatever his name is, probably would have been a different story. Nice little pass now. Messi loses the ball, unfortunately. I think this is going to end 1 1, but we'll see. Right, Trippier now with a beautiful ball that just went a bit too far for Pedro. I thought that was going to be a great goal then. Right, Osimhen. Yes. That's what I like to see. The blonde assassin, Osimhen. We're looking at a 2 0 win here. We'll go above Spurs in the, in the league. Got to rest some players for the next game, though, because these players are getting knackered very quickly now. They ain't got the squad depth to bloody rest them for too long. All right, Bruno Gomez, Denali. That's it. Let's just pass it around now. Let's just, let's just keep possession. Let's just run the clock down. Nice little pass in exchange there. Don't know who that was to, though. Um, Royal now drives it forward for Spurs to Madison. Is he going to shoot? He does. Ah, uh -huh. that's not what we need. With five minutes to go, there we go. We've got a corner. You never know. We might bounce back and get another goal here. Kill the game off. Hopefully, nice little bit of passing here. Is Trippier going to shoot with his left foot? Maybe right foot. Sorry, and he scores. On. Let's just see the game out now. We've got five more minutes of added time. Oh, we go. I've got no corner. You never know. Trippier. Nah, well defended by Spurs. Oh, what's happened here? The IR check for a penalty. Oh, penalty awarded. Come on. Isaac with the. Oh, I would have had Messi taking that personally. Oh, well. Right, Isaac. Beautiful, beautiful. We killed the game off. Wins 3 0. It's in. All right, that's that then. Three one. We're now we're getting up. We're about eight at one point, and now we're up to fifth. We're still these two: Liverpool, and Manchester United are above us. They've got a game ahead of us, and Man City's got two games ahead of us. So I don't think we're going to win the league simply because I don't see Man City losing that many games with the games left. Realistically, we can still get top four, which means we can still get Champions League football. We've just got to hope that one of these two teams falters a bit, and, and then we can keep. Carrying on with the form, but it's, it's a big if at the moment. And we've always got uh, Tottenham chomping at our feet to try and take over us. No, we haven't got a game for 10 days now. This is what happens when you get towards the end of the season. You get big gaps where there's not many games, depending on how well you're doing in competitions. But it means we get to rest the players. Um, we are still in the Champions League. We are still yet to... Oh, I better, I don't know, better return from this so I can do the Champions League draw. I'll do it live while you're watching, everyone. See it with me. Hopefully we get drawn with a decent team. Not decent team, sorry, rubbish team. Try and progress as far as possible. I'm amazed with eight days to go, that we, we don't know who our opponents are going to be. That is quite cons I don't think that happens in real life where you only get less than a, you get just over a week for the game to find out who you're playing. You usually get a couple of weeks, don't you? And he's not happy for the squad thing, but yeah, that's fine. Right. Yeah. Praise Trippier and praise Tanali. Hmm. I wonder when the draw's happening. He's left out for a couple of days. Really weird that we haven't had our um, Champions League draw yet. Harry, if you're still there, has that ever happened to you on FM where you've, where you've got a game in 
seven days in the Champions League and you don't know who your opponent is? Is this like a bug or something? It might be because one of the editor files I've got, I've got all these different editor files, so it might be something to do with that. I just thought I'd ask you. I wish my uh, flat was better at an actual central heat. And the, the flat I'm in, always cold in here, and they've only got these storage heaters. I've got a plug-in heater, but it, it, takes, it takes up so much electric, I'm not putting it on. But uh, these storage heaters, they take 24 hours to heat up. And because I wasn't here for a few days, I turned it off to save on electric, and I'm regretting it now because it's flipping freezing in this flat. It's all right, because when I finish, I'm going to uh, put a hoodie on and a, and a jumper and wrap up a bit, so it's even warmer. I just wanted to show off my uh, new Newcastle top, which is way too tight for me. But luckily, I'm not going to wear this out and out and about anywhere, so I don't. It doesn't really make any difference. Here we go, right? Champions League draw. Oh, that beautiful graphic. There we go. Let's start the draw. Let me just get comfy. Sorry. Oh, I know my foot's squeezed up. There we go. There with us. Right, okay. All right, let's start the draw. Let's up the speed to three, because otherwise we'll be here all day. All right, so PSV. Well, you'll be happy, Jaunty, from the previous stream. Who's a PSV fan? You're playing Fenerbahce. Or Fenerbahce, whatever you want to pronounce it. Diamond and Zagreb, we could do be playing them. Come on, who are we playing? Benfica. Okay. We could be we could do with playing one of the rubbish teams like CSK Moscow or there was another one a second ago. One of the Moscow teams basically or Str or Sturm Graz, Slavia Prague with with that like Krasendor. As long as they're not a big team like Inter, we'll be all right. Now I've jinxed us now, we're gonna be playing Inter, aren't we? No, nope, that's all right then. Still a few rubbish teams left, Senate, Senate as well. Not saying they're rubbish, like I'm not being horrible, but I mean, just saying like we just don't want a big team. We don't want to play like Real Madrid, for instance. Oh, there we go. Zenit. Let's see who else. Let's see that there's a few games left. Let's just wait for these to. Strongrats. Actually, it's just, it's just advanced now. Rassenburg playing Red Bull Salzburg. Salvia Plarang are playing Real Madrid. There we go. That was a good draw for us. We're playing Zenit. St. Petersburg. I know they used to be a decent team when they had Hulk there, but I don't think they've got... I mean, they're actually saying that, though. They've got players rated at... Uh, this player, Claudio. Player here. Well, some Brazilians, obviously. Douglas Santos. So they're not going to be... Wendell. They've got a lot of Brazilians. Um, he's remember him being pretty good in. Um, I'll just scout him. But yeah, they got a decent few players, but then the rest of the team are quite reasonably poor. I'd say. I say we can. I I, I would be surprised if we didn't beat them. But a, you know, anything can happen at the end of the day. It's football. Even Mbappe looks getting injured, doesn't he? I swear he's had about four or five injuries since I signed him. I could do with having him as an option because he's a defensive midfielder. Uh, let's just check his injury history. Three injuries. So in 2024 alone, he's had a couple of minor injuries and some moderate injuries. And they all seem to be in training. I mean, he got injured kicking the ball, for God's sake. Didn't sharp. It's just, they're only little injuries. That one's only two weeks, though, so it's not too bad. God, we had the draw and we got the game and we got the game in a couple of days. He gets the under twenty one. Okay, I don't. I wouldn't rate him. He's only two and a half stars, but he's valued quite well. I'm going to get him a new contract. You never know. He might turn into a better player than I think. Let's just just protect our interests, really. Elliot got the young player of the month. Neither of our players. Oh. By the way, just uh, to show you my avatar, 
Now, it looks like I'm literally a character out of the film Avatar with the blue. Basically, I tried to take a photo of me with the blue mask on that I originally wore for the first couple of streams, and that's what I've come up with. It, it, it's making me look, it's making me look very um, weird. Yeah, we've got Zenit away. I'm going to add McAllister to the shortlist because he's a really good player. Yeah, so for people who have been watching my streams and my video uh, streams and that, basically, um, my next YouTube series after I've finished with the Everton series is going to be one where I don't even know what the team is because I am basically going to do a video of me. Um, basically, I ordered a shirt from Surprise Shirts, which is a uh, football shirt company that give you history boxes and things like that, and they'll pick a shirt for you. And um, basically, I they asked for a few details and that, and I ordered a football shirt. Now, I was hoping that eventually they'd have these like really beautiful Lucha Libre mask inspired Mexican football shirts, but they haven't got any at the moment. So I'll get one of them at some point and start a save with one of them teams. So I know it's not going to be anything like that, but I've got no idea what the team's going to be. Um, and I, and it's 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 not a top team because I've asked them specifically for it not to be a top team, so it could be any lower league team and stuff. And whoever they pick me, I then have to manage a save on Football Manager. So that'll be my next YouTube series after I've finished with the Everton one. But that won't be for a while because depending on how quick I can get season or two with the Everton save done. But I will definitely record the video as soon as possible. The only issue is is I accidentally put. The, the an extra one in my postcode, so it got it confused Royal Mail, and I was supposed to get it today. So I was going to do the video today and then post it at some point near the time when I'm about to start the new save. But they've uh, they nicely are going to send me another one out, so I could potentially end up getting two shirts for the price of one. But I'm a good because I'm a good person. I'll probably send the other one back because it will take a few weeks for Royal Mail to figure it all out. I rang them up and I was like, can't you just get hold of the, the sorting office and just get them to change the postcode? And like, no, no, I can't do that. So when that happened last time, for the same reason, because I only just tweaked it, it was because I put the wrong postcode in, so I had to edit that. It won't happen again. But basically it took three or four weeks for them to deliver my own because every day I would get an email to say that it's been rerouted. Re Very frustrating. Uh, yeah. Right, next game up now is Zenit St. Petersburg in the Champions League. We've got Pope in goal, Trippier is right back, Coates, Cotes and Botman in the middle of defence, Target on the left, Bruno and Tonali in the middle of the midfield, Messi on the right, Brahim Diaz in the middle with Pedro Gonzalez, and Osim, Osim Hem up front. So we can get a few away goals in this game to make it a little bit easier. I don't know if away goals count anymore. In the European competitions, I think I think they stopped doing the away goals. So I'll probably be finishing about ten past four today. For anybody that needs to know, so um, I appreciate you watching this all the way through. But obviously. Uh, you can always watch it on the VOD section if you do it in the next seven days, but also it will be uploaded on my YouTube channel, Lucha FM. So you can always follow the series from the start. Obviously, Twitch doesn't keep these streams for longer than seven days. Yeah, so if you want to do that, feel free to give me a little subscribe on YouTube as well and, and a like as well, so I know that you're enjoying the, the content. Always appreciate it. Plus, it gives you the best chance of being able to follow the content easier. But yeah, I tend to just try. I try and stick to a schedule. I try and do most weekdays streaming, and I try and release a video every day for YouTube. But I try. I, in technical, I release two videos because once I've finished doing the stream, I upload it, upload it to YouTube. So technically, you'll be getting two videos on YouTube a day, really, in theory. Obviously, on weekends, I won't bother, but I'll still uh, do enough videos so there's there's a video each day on the weekend. I 
I just wish I did this years ago because I just think I just think I was playing football manager for about seven, eight hours a day. And I could do a few hours I could have done a few hours a day just streaming just to uh create some entertain entertainment. Because I like I like what I do, I like interacting with people and playing. Alright, Topsy, how's it going? I know, mate, I know. Um Lionel Messi, yeah, I signed him and Busquets and Jordi Alba and Luis Suarez. So I've I've got a bit of a Barcelona reunion. Not that not that many of the others have played. Oh, here we go. Oh, hit the post. Not that many. Messi's played literally nearly every game, um, and he's been really good. Suarez has barely played because he's just he's just not good enough, really. Jordi Alba played for a bit, but then he was moaning because he wasn't playing enough, so I sold him. Busquets is still there, and he plays occasionally when there's nobody else, but he's always getting injured. So yeah, yeah. Cheers for joining, Copsy. I do appreciate it. Hope you're okay. How are you today? I was saying nothing but, oh, here we go. Lovely little goal. Um, oh, is this going to be loud? Probably not. I was saying nothing but nice things about Liverpool fans about 10 minutes ago, by the way. You can ask, uh, you can ask Harry. He'll, he'll agree with you. Why have I made uh, David Beckham cry? I don't want to make David Beckham cry. He's one of my favourite players ever. Great little pass there to Messi. Messi now. Oh, okay. Yeah, nicked all of his stuff. Yeah, sorry. I literally took me a few seconds, and then I was like, "Yeah, I know." But you know, at the end of the day, he'll find some. He'll find some other players. I was just amazed I got Messi. I didn't expect him to come. I know I did win the Premiership, but I wasn't expecting him to come because of the the club's reputation. So um, I was buzzing. Oh, that was you, Harry. Sorry, I thought that was Copsy. Then sorry, buddy. I didn't realize you were back. I know I've nicked all of his. Um, I'll have to. I'll have to ring him up later and apologise. Yes, go on, Butman. Oh God's sake! Not another goal disallowed. Yeah, I've got, I've got David Beckham on speed dial, mate. One of my best mates. So what I was really, who I was really happy for. Um, oh, that's good. That's good. We got that goal. Uh. I was really happy for a YouTube channel away days that there's a guy called Ellis Patton that does that, and he does like football shirt stuff and everything, and he goes to classic football shirts. Um, store. Oh yes, go on, Messi, greatest of all time. Um, and he's managed to to interview a few really good players now. And the main one was um David Beckham. He had the other day he had Fabrizio Romano, the super agent, on there. So I'm really happy that he's doing really well because how I got into my eBay selling was basically I watched him buying football shirts from mystery boxes. And I stupidly got the idea that I could probably make money from buy, like buying mystery boxes and then selling the shirts on for profit. But then, even once I realised I can't do that, I then went down the the rabbit hole of trying to find out well how like YouTubers that sell clothes for a living. And then the rest is history. Basically, I I I had a business for about two and a half years where I was selling clothes and started off a bit now. Now I'm doing this a bit more. So I'm. Like I said, I'm not expecting this to turn into a money maker, but if it does, it's great. I'm I'm still all right financially, so I don't. I'm doing this as a hobby because I'm interested in it. Yeah, I did. He is the goat. Messi is the goat. Are you going to say Mo Salah's the greatest, Topsy? I'd assume you would, wouldn't you? As far as Liverpool fans are concerned, Mo Salah is probably the greatest. He did win. You, he did win you that that one title that you got during COVID when everybody else could, you know couldn't play the games properly. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you ever want to get on Liverpool fans' nerves, just tell them that their Premier League title win a couple of years ago didn't count because it was during COVID. It really gets their back off. Um, no, I mean, at the end of the day, you, Liverpool's a really good team. I, I, I'm a big fan of Jurgen Klopp, to be honest. I wish we had a manager like him at Man United. I thought we'd have that with Ten Hag, but it doesn't really... He did well last season, don't get me wrong, but I just think the players... I think the players just don't like the fact that he stands up to them. I think they just want a manager that will just roll over and let them do what they want. Got too many bad eggs in the dressing room, I think. You're triggered. Sorry, Copsy. <laughs> I know everybody would expect me to say Ronaldo because of my name. And don't get me wrong, I'm a massive Ronaldo fan, but I just over the last year or two, I just feel like Messi's just an overall better better player and, and that and I th and I don't like I don't I won't be on I'll be honest, I've gone off Ronaldo a bit over the years because of his attitude and his arrogance and stuff like that. Whereas I feel Messi is very Humble in a way, and he, he, you know, I mean, I could be wrong, people might disagree, but I just feel like he's more of a humble player. 
and I was gutted he didn't get. I was gutted he didn't win the world. Did he win the world? Oh no, he did. Didn't Argentina win the World Cup or did France win? I can't remember. I think. It, oh yeah, they did win the World Cup because he won the. Um, Messi won the player of the the world player of the year, didn't he? For that reason. So yeah. So um, yeah, as I said, as far as I'm concerned, Messi is slightly better, more around, more overall around successful player than Ronaldo was. Don't get me wrong, Ronaldo was amazing in his day. Um, but I think Messi just had a more prolonged, better career. Because I wasn't paying much attention to that game, I don't even know if we won or not. <laughs> I went off on a tangent and I wasn't paying much attention to the game. I was on autopilot. I think I was doing all tactical things without even actually knowing I was doing it. I mean, literally, I could play this game half asleep, and I'd still probably be all right. Did we win that game? Yeah, we did. That's good. Won 3 0. But yeah, we've only lost. We've won 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We've won 9 in the last 10 games. We've done really well at the moment. Oh, I know. Ronaldo, when he first went to Man United and, like, after that, you know, he was just just a breath of fresh air. He was just so unique in, in that. And uh, I do laugh that he used to be a free-kick machine and then all of a sudden he just stopped He just stopped being good at free-kicks and was just, just ridiculously bad at them. Never understand that. Um, Pope in goal. Trippier is right back. Potez and Botman in the middle of defence. Target was left back. Bruno and Sonali in the middle of midfield. Messi on the right, Brian in the middle, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Ossim Hen up front versus the versus Chelsea. Did he? Oh, okay. Yeah, but that's in Saudi, isn't it? Come on, let's be honest. I could score for any free kicks in Saudi Arabian football. Doesn't matter how much they're trying to improve it by bringing in these foreign uh these foreign players that like that are past it basically. I know there's a few players that they've signed in their prime, like um Gabriel Vega or something like that who was a high prospect in Brazil let's be honest the only reason you go to Saudi Arabia is for the money I mean Jordan Henderson former Liverpool legend and captain sold his soul to go and play in Saudi Arabia not just saying you know who was in net though oh I don't know what you mean by that Harry. what do you mean who was in net though I don't know Oh, okay, all right, all right, and Copsy, I believe you. Yeah, I used to, I used to love Ronaldo, but then hated him on FIFA 2011 because I didn't know how to do free kicks or or how to take penalties properly on FIFA 2011. I mean, this is how far back it's going. It's going back about 12 years ago, 13 years ago now. Sorry, my mate knew how to do it, so he'd always be Real Madrid or Portugal, so he could be Ronaldo. And he just, he just, because I'd stupidly fouled him a lot, he'd get all these bloody free kicks, and then he'd just score every time, and it, it oh, it just used to drive me mad. I used to hate it. I used to hate Ronaldo for that reason alone. But yeah, in real life, I do like Ronaldo, but I just, I, I was really disappointing him in that interview that he did with Piers Morgan Slate in Man United. I understand that some of what he said was right, don't get me wrong, but... You know, there's ways of doing it and doing it live on TV. So it's also talking to bloody Piers Morgan alone gets my back up. No, no one wants to talk to that bloody bell end. So uh, yeah, he lost. Um, but he did. He did make me laugh the other day when they had that that thing and Conor McGregor tried to talk to him and he just basically blanked him. That redeemed Ronaldo a bit for me because I can't stand McGregor. I used to like McGregor, but yeah. He's a uh, McGregor, a bit of a bell end, isn't he? I was happy when he got humbled by Khabib in that fight that they had. Shut him up. Well. All right, one nil down. Hello, Semi OTF. Okay. I'm trying to figure out, is your name Semi on the OTF? I can't, I can't think of anyone called Semi in the OTF. Oh, semi-skim milk, isn't it? Semi yes, hello, buddy. Oh, it took me a while. Yeah, you're right, mate. 
Thank you for your uh, support the other day. I do appreciate it, mate. Go on, 1-1. One, one. That's it. I'll send them. We're having a bit of an OTF party here, aren't we? All we need now is actor, and we've, uh, we've, we've gone full circle. I can talk to actor uh, live on chat about how much uh, I can't stand Jim Cornet, and then he can try and stick up for him. People who are watching the replay of this on YouTube are going to have no idea what I'm on about. I still, I still keep forgetting to put the chat on the on the Twitch stream so people can see what other people are typing. <laughs> and they're going to get ever so confused by this. If you're not on the OTF, yeah. Right, 2-1, that's it. Come on, Victor. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. And I do appreciate you uh, coming along watching the stream. No, I know, no, I know, Harry, I know. Um, actor has got my back up a few times, as people know, but he's probably got a few other people's back up on the forum, but he's just one of them, and he's just, he, he's like Marmite, you either like him or you hate him, and, and sometimes, well, not hate him, but you like him or you don't, and, uh, but I won't lie, he was very helpful with giving me advice when I started the thread, so I can't, I'll give you that. That before that point, I actually had him on my ignore list for about three or four months because I just, I think he just said something really bad on the wrestling thread, and I was just like, I'm done with him. And I had him, I had him on my ignore list for about four months, and I never bothered paying attention to any of his posts, even when he quoted me on certain posts on the wrestling thread. But you know, he's he, he's all right. He's all right. Like I said, he's he's all right, and in, in that he's just he is who he is. He's got his opinions, and that's it. And also as well, I do make it easy for people to troll me and annoy me because I do buy it easily. So I can see why he probably does it at times. I'm trying to learn not to let people get to me, but it's easier said than done. But anyway, back to this. We're free one up. We're doing well. Yeah, no worries, Harry. Thanks for joining, mate. I do appreciate it. And I'll be watching the game. Um... And I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for us. Let's hope we don't absolutely get crashed because we're near the end of it, will we? But yeah, Harry, have a nice time, mate. All the best. Thank you. So, semi skim milk, OTF, how are you today? What have you been up to? Oh, 3 2. At least this is a good game from the, the neutral watching. Just avoiding work. <laughs> what do you do for work then? Anything exciting? Office work, maybe? Or I reckon you're like an IT technician or something for some reason. I don't know why. Great clearance by us. Can we do something with this now? Diaz drives it forward. Come on. Oh, you lost it. Why did you lose? Oh, you got fouled. That's one. Right, can we see the end of this game? Oh, God, here we go. Try and demand a bit more, that helps, hopefully. No! Come on! We're 3 1 up, and now we're 3 3. That's just typical. Typical of us. We're back down to ninth? How? How are we back down to ninth? We were like literally sixth a minute ago. We can't even. Put any, oh, for God's sake, we're down to 10 men with the last five minutes to go. Here we go. Are they going to score? If they win this now, I mean, I mean, what are you doing? Who was that too, Pope? You're out the window as soon as you get, as soon as I've got a chance to get rid of you, you're out. Totally the same. Thought I'd have it on the background. I haven't looked on the whole screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good then. At least you're helping students when they need them and stuff like that. My, um, my brother works for a university as well like in, in Birmingham, and he, he does like admin work and stuff. I don't know if he does the same as you, but there's probably a lot of jobs there. Come on. Oh, no. Snake. Sammy Skin Milk, I blame you for us losing, by the way. It's all your fault. <laughs> I was doing well. I'm joking. It's nothing to do with you, buddy. Oh, my God. Livermento, what are you doing? I oh, know, as a neutral, it's very entertaining. For me, it's very stressful. We've still got a minute and a half to go. We were 3-1 up as well. This is what frustrates me about FM. Oh, 
We're still fifth though. That's weird because we were literally ninth a minute ago. So we were quite lucky that all the other teams end up losing. You like your job then, Demi? And Zav is out for three or four weeks. Right, we'll just go on holiday for the next four days. <laughs> who do you support, Sammy? I forgot to ask. I can't remember who you support. I know you're quite, you're quite, um, you post a lot in one particular club bar, uh, thread, and I can't remember which one it is. That seems like a job for me, that does, just basically chatting for a living. I'd love that. I don't like kids though. I don't like young people. They they annoy me. They'll be on their they'll be on their phones all the time when I'm trying to talk to them or do me head in. Oh yeah, I don't know how you do it. I'd have to insist on taking their phones off them while that while I talk to them. Yeah, probably a lot of paperwork in your job, isn't there? But yeah, I know what you mean. My partner has an interesting job. She works for a charity as a basically a, a nurse that helps people with drug addiction. So she helps dispense like methadone scripts and try and get some help that they need. But it's quite stressful. She's she's having a tough. Well, she's ill anyway, but she's having a tough time in a job because one of the what they call service users, which is basically the people who take drugs that need medication. Um, one of her service users is dying from a very aggressive cancer and she's only got a couple of days left to live and she left the hospital even though she was told she needed to stay there and she's just gone back up and started she just doesn't care anymore she wants to die basically but sorry for talking about this on a on a stream but yeah um so her job's quite tough at times and that but luckily she's got me who's a who's a bit of a bit of a class clown bit of a child at times or I, enter, I, I cheer up with my, uh, I annoy her at times with my immaturity, but I, I also, I'm also there for her as well, and she can lean on me and stuff like that. I was looking after the last two days. Yeah, she's all right, mate. She's just, like I said, she's got like a really bad viral infection. I think it, I think it's because she moved into my flat with me last week. And I haven't got any central heating in my flat. It's basically these storage heaters that take 24 hours to heat up. And because I haven't been there the last couple, I didn't, I wasn't there the last couple of days. And then when she come over, I, ha I put the heating on for her, but it takes, like I said, it takes 24 hours to heat up. My flat was really cold, and I just think she got ill because of that. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to find somewhere else to live. But it, it's ridiculously hard to rent somewhere with the with the lack of money that I've got. Oh uh, yeah, it's a bit tough at the moment, but we'll get there. We'll figure it out. Right, we've got Zenit in the next game. And we've got Pope in goal. Trippier's right back. Cotez in the middle with Botman. Target on the left. Bruno and Tanali in, in the middle of midfield. Messi on the right. Brian Diaz in the middle. Ford on the left. And Austin Hearn up front. What, what, what football team do you support then, Sammy? I can't remember. I want to say Arsenal, but I could be completely wrong with that. I can't remember what your photo is on the on the forums. Or is it Man United? Oh, I don't know. You'll soon tell me in a minute. I apologise if I've got it completely wrong and you're like a Liverpool fan or something. Oh, look at that. That was a beautiful ball, that was. Beautiful ball by Tanani to Ossinen. Yeah, I've got one of these. I've got one of these oil-based heaters, plug-in heaters, but it just uses up so much electric that I I refuse to put it on. If I if I'm on my own, I won't put it on. I'll just put layers on and try and keep warm that way. I'll put I'll bring my quilt down and put my quilt over my legs when I'm on the sofa, and I'll just get I keep warm that way. But because like she's different differently built to me, she's not because I'm quite I'm quite chubby in a way, and so I've got an extra bit of heat. As she says, when she cuddles up with me in bed, I'm a great source of heat. It's like having a it's like having a hot water bottle next to her with me. But yeah, she she can't get warm that way, so I have to put the heating on for her. So I I do put in the plug-in heater for her when she's round here. But then I'm a bit conscious about the cost because I used to spend about a hundred quid a month in electric. Um. 
Hold on, let me read what he said. Oh, okay, fair enough. Who did you used to did you used to support any football team, or did you just did you just join the forums because you like the o OTF section? I spend more time on there than I do on any other section. I see what you mean. Is that goal going to be allowed, or is it going to be disallowed? I think it's allowed. Okay. Oh, no, here we go. Goal awarded. See, we're winning six 0 on aggregate now. We're doing well. Ask the men just destroying them now. If we, what I might do if this if this stays dominant in the first half, the second half, I'll probably just switch to commentary and then put it on the faster speed and just let it play out. Look like we're going to win this comfortably. Move, move that up because it's showing my belly off a bit too much. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. We're three 0 up. Thirty eight minutes gone. Tenali now with sweep. Tenali on. What's he gonna do? Nice pass back to Messi. Back to Tenali. Tenali. Um, Messi now. Sorry. Trip here to Messi. Austin Hearn gets the shot blocked by the goalkeeper. I think. Still keepers. Skill. Keep possession, the target. Gordon drives inside. Oh, look at that. That was a beautiful little goal. He, he turned the defender and then drove it forward. Oh, bloody hell, Sammy. I thought you were a decent person and used to support Liverpool. Uh, yeah, it was a lovely call by Gordon, yeah. I'm just going to... Um, I'm just... I'm not... I'm just going to... Change it to commentary only now, mate, because it's just, it's going to take forever. Um, right, there we go. We'll just leave that. Still keep an eye on it. I can, if, if there's a goal, I'll, I'll, um, I'll show the, quickly show the goal. Oh, we just scored, so go yeah, wait for it to come up. Click on that now so people can see it. I went, sorry, I know this is going a bit too fast. I'll, hold on, I'll slow that down. Right, we'll do that, and then we'll do that. That's right. Show the goal again. Sorry about that. Gordon with the cross. Gordon man of the match so far, I reckon. Great little header. Osimhen scores again. Gets his hat trick. Yeah. Do you like the Liverpool fans on the uh, on the? Oh no, you don't go on the football forum. So you don't. You don't. You don't. I don't I'm, I'm just having banter. I don't mind. Certain ones on there. At the end of the day, they probably have the same opinion of me. Um, yeah, we all get on. Actually, to be honest, considering it's a, a forum full of uh, like hundreds of thousands of people, ninety nine percent of the time, most people get on. Me and Actor have the old little squabble back and forth, and that sometimes I tend to get people's backs up because it's just how much of an idiot I am at times. But mostly, it's a decent forum. Most people get on, and and. I would say that the, the COVID thread, when that first started, I think that was a great credit to people on the OTF because it, it helped a lot of people with, like myself with the information, but also helped with anxiety and fears and worries and gave us facts and not just nonsense. So it was, you know, it was a big credit to the people that contributed to that thread and obviously the UK politics thread that's on there and everything else. So the wrestling thread is my personal favourite on the OTF. We, is it, oh, I thought it was just me. What did you have a squabble about with actor then? Oh, if you don't want to tell me, actually, don't. I don't want to. I don't want to make a uh, situation a bit worse for yourself. I don't, we better not keep saying his name anyway, because he might end up joining the uh, stream. It'll be like it'll be like Beetlejuice in it when you keep saying his name three times, he appears. Right, we've got one good prospect here. Just do this and then once they've signed contracts, I'll click on them. But, uh, one more, here we are. Decades. <laughs> Hold on. 
How long's that forum been on there? I wish I was on the OTF back in the day because I feel like it would. I feel like it was probably a more of a a wasteland because obviously people's opinions back then were probably tolerated more than they are now. Now, obviously, you you can't you you know. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, but you know, there's more censoring now. Certain people aren't. Like I said, even I've learned to be a better person when it comes to certain things. Yeah, I'm just going to go on the holiday now. We've got Man City next game, bloody top of the table playing us. What was it like living in Carlisle? Because I know it's a bit of a... I've been told it's a bit of a dreary place, but also had a few people say that it's quite nice there. 16 years, bloody hell. I don't know. I can't remember how long I've been on it without looking. I don't know. I don't know how you find that out. Uh, let me have a look. See if I can find it on there. I think I was on there before for a few years. Um, but I think I got banned once because I. Was, this was when I was a little bit more uh, uh, corrupt, as they say, and I was looking for. I was looking for getting FM for free, so I was looking for cracks for F. FM, so like I can get FM for free. And I think I asked on the I asked on the forum, which was not a good idea. But we would do stupid things when we we're young. But that was many, many years ago. Don't even mention about copyright stuff now, because um, you just instantly get banned, which is fair enough. Um, right. Let me see if it tells me how long I've been on it here for. There we go. So I joined. I joined in 2012. So June 2012, which actually isn't that long. I thought I'd been on there a lot longer than that. But yeah, 12 years now. When I was, I joined, I was, my birthday's June. So that was 12 years ago. I was 27 when I joined. That's really weird because I feel like I've been on here way longer than that. I never used to go on the OTF though. I only went on the OTF about three or four years ago. I used to avoid it because I used to think, well, what's the point in going there? It's never going to have anything interesting me on there. Interesting for me on there. I believe you've been on it for sixteen years. How old are you? How old are you, old are you then? Then how old are you then, Copsy? What, so there was an OTF when Championship Manager, but that was in the 90s. The internet wasn't even that. You on about like, like Championship Manager 97, 98 type of thing, because the internet was okay, okay then. I just remember, you're only 31. Bloody hell. You're younger than me, mate. I'm 39. No, that's fair enough, Sammy. No, um, yeah, well, we're, nearly, we're nearly at the end of the holiday. Are you thirty nine as well? Are you thirty nine as well then, Sammy? Are you? I'm forty this year. I'm forty in June. I'm bloody dreading it. Well, I'm not dreading it because my life's relatively good. Oh, that's not good though. I cement up for three to four weeks. Have a look at him. Is he any good? Yeah, he's all right. Who's, who's, oh, okay. Um, got him as well. He's going to be good. Look at him. Bloody hell. Harry Clark, look at him. A bit of a joke, though. Like, oh, it, that needs to be stamped out. We're not here to, uh, we're not here to have fun, Harry. We're here to win. Rafferty Green, you know, that's a name, isn't it? I do love the random names on here. And then we've got Aiden. Modern, no, murdered, murdered Onovich, murdered Onovich. He's going to be another good player as well, by the looks of it. Driven as well, that's what we would like to see. Harry Clark needs to take a note out of your book, mate. You need to have a word with Harry Clark. We'll leave them because they're not worth it. Praise that, praise him. Okay, you're not happy with that. I suggest you bugger off. 
Would you not be happy to get praised? Some of these bloody youngsters these days are never happy, are they? Right, we're playing... Oh, I forgot to do the draw. Sorry, everyone. We're playing Spartak Moscow in the next round. What round's that? Is that the quarters? Quarterfinal, yeah. Uh, he signed a new con. He signed a contract. Let's have a look at him. He's he's pretty good actually. He's doing well in training as well, and he's got a fairly professional personality, which we like. When when that Harry Potter said light hearted, I'm just thinking you're not going to put the effort in, son, are you? He's not good enough, so we'll try and send him. So try and get rid of him. By the way, if anybody's messaging chat, just bear with me. I will come back to it in a second. I have to bear with me. Want to work through these. Hope looks injured again, which is great. There we go. Right. Yeah, I'm I'm 40 in June. I'm figuring out what I want to do for my 40th because I've got like I've got my family, but I've also got a girlfriend who wants to probably go away, and then I've got my I've got like two different friend groups, and I don't nothing against them. I just don't think. Don't think they would mash very well if I if I invited them all out. They'd get on, don't get me wrong, but it's just they're just different people. Um so I'd have to do separate things with them. So I might go out for a meal with my one lot of mates and then maybe go I have I have tried to see if my mates from Birmingham will come with me for a weekend away somewhere for my birthday, because my other mate Joe, his birthday is on the same weekend as well. But my my friend is looking to get married at some point on a weekend in june so it'll probably not happen because her wedding will their wedding will be more important to them which is fair enough and i don't hold that against them so it is what it is i'm used to people not being able to come out for my birthday because a lot of my friends are um rockers so there's always there's always um download in june so there's always they used to always be away for that right let's uh so we've got Sherpin in goal, Trippier's right back, Coates in centre defence with Botman, Target is left back, Bruno Gomez with Tonali in the middle, Messi on the right, Brahim Diaz in the middle, Paul on the left, and Isaac up front because I see him being injured. Um, so basically, the reason why a holiday is just simply because it's a bit boring for probably for myself and probably for the people that watch. The, um, the, when I go through them, unless it's like a transfer window, when it's a transfer window, I tend to not not holiday. But in, when it's not, when there's not much going on, I'll just holiday just to quicken the process. So yeah, that's the reason why I do it. Um, also, as well, when I was asking in that thread I set up, I got told that one of the things people, um, sorry, I was just fixing my mic. One of the things that people found a bit boring was when I was just going through the inboxes and stuff, so I kind of took it on board. You can't keep everybody up. There's all like it it's like the butterfly effects. When you do one thing it's gonna uh, annoy somebody. You can't keep everybody happy. So but yeah I tend to just I, if I'm playing offline I tend to holiday in between games as well. So I just I just do it. I just didn't do it to start when I was streaming because I thought people might be interested in that. But I think the consensus is more people would just prefer me to unless it's something that's important in the inbox items like a transfer or something. They tend to just want me just to they'd rather just watch the games and actually just watch the interactions and stuff like that really but yeah we're all different you probably prefer to just you know watch it but obviously on here on twitch i can't like i like i said if i was doing a video for youtube i'd edit a lot of the stuff out whereas here it's all live so what i can do is i can just go through instead of holidaying on the twitch i can just go through um I can do it relatively quick anyway without having to holiday it, but at least people can see it. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll just I won't holiday through it. It's just when I see there's like there's no game for ten days, I just automatically think, oh I'll just holiday it with quicker. Do you tend to holiday? Yeah, okay, no, that's fair enough. At the end of the day, if you're here and you want to watch it, then obviously I've got a I'm gonna to cater to my audience. So if you like that, that's fine. I will happily go through the inbox items with you um i might do it a bit quickly at times so you might need to ask me to slow down a bit but yeah perhaps i do you know what i've been yapping away to you and i've just realized we're winning 4-1 against man city or top of the league 
You need to stay here more often. Copsy, you're a good luck charm. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. So, yeah, so they're probably on about the, the YouTube videos. So what I'll probably do is edit the YouTube videos out, like all the boring stuff out of the, the YouTube videos, like the um, going through the inboxes, which I have been doing mostly on the the YouTube videos. And then for the, for the streams, I'll just go through it. I won't holiday, I'll just go through it, like, as you said. So yeah, so no, I appreciate the feedback at the end of the day. It's it, like I said, I'm just trying to get it just right to get the right amount, of, right balance between speed and and keeping people happy with their life. Yeah, Copsy balances you out, Sammy. You you jinxed me before. Yeah, nice little four one win there. No, I appreciate I appreciate you two and um, Ari before joining in in the chat. I really do appreciate. It. Because to me, like if there's nobody chatting on here when I'm playing, I just think I'm only I just think I'm talking to myself and I just feel like I'm going insane. So it's nice to have people to bounce off as well. I'm glad I'm glad we got one over on Guardiola anyway. Bloody glorious bastard who's good at everything. Um, next gen wonder kids. So obviously we've got the Mal. We haven't. Oh, we have got some. We've got Lewis Miley, who's currently doing relatively well at loan on loan at Everton. Um, we could do with having him in our team, really, to be honest. But he's not. He's not. Um, He's more of an attacking midfielder, which we've got enough in in the centre we could do with. I know he's decent in there, but he's not. I think he's more that type of player, isn't he? Um, I could do with him being a defensive midfielder as well, because his best role is centre midfielder, which we don't really use in our tactic. Like this one. Oh, he could, oh actually, he could play in the Tonali position. I feel like an idiot now saying that. Um, we could put, yeah. Next season, I think I'll, um, I won't send Miley out on loan. And we'll see how we go. But yeah, let's try and have, let's have a look at the mentoring for a second. Okay, switch that up a bit. Switch up the coaches a bit as well. See what the assistant says. Do that. Yeah, so Copsy, I don't know. Yeah, you're probably happy with that. But you, you probably won't be happy with my YouTube save. I'm doing relatively well with Ever Everton, which is remarkable considering that I did a tactic from scratch. Um... But yeah, so you probably won't like them. Um, cheers, Sammy. Sorry, I just saw that. Cheers. I really appreciate the positive feedback there. It's always nice to hear because I feel like a lot of the times I'm probably doing rubbish. So yeah, so it's nice to hear. But thank you. Um, yeah, because like I said, I'm trying to get better all the time because in an ideal world, um, I'd be doing this full time and getting paid a certain amount of money. Not that I'm asking to get paid loads. I'm in a lucky position that um, I don't really need to, to make money, but I would like to make money because, like I said, I'd like to stand on my own two feet. Um, and eventually I'm probably going to be living with my partner, so I want to take a bit of the pressure off her because she's working full-time. She's working full-time, but she wants to do content creation herself, but she wants to do like mindfulness and stuff to do with mental health and all that to help people doing that. And she wants to do stuff like that stuff, so I'm going to help her with that as she goes along with the editing and thumbnails and stuff like that but i'm going to get her to do it i'm just going to teach her how to do it because i do think she'll pick it up a little bit quicker than me because she's so smart she's just so clever that she'll be she'll probably if she spent just as much time as me doing this she'd be way ahead of me by now but luckily i've got a bit of time ahead of her um but yeah she wants to do content creation as well so i joke with her and say that we could we could uh make our pay our bills with content creation but no at the moment i'm just here to just entertain you have a good laugh chat to people on the the forum a bit more get to know you a bit more and just like i said just have a laugh really especially as i don't really like i see my friends but I don't see them as much as i would like it's it's once every three or four weeks if i'm lucky Um, yeah, so with Twitch, it, Twitch is a little bit different to YouTube. I can't, 
remember what it is now. I did look yesterday. I'll have a quick look while I'm online. I'll, I'll tell you. Just bear with us. Switch monetization. Obviously, you can look yourself if you wanted to. Um, just trying to think the criteria. I, I don't. Know. I need to. I need to put in criteria into Google. My criteria. Obviously, you can't see this on screen because I haven't put it up on there. But so, for to get monetized with Twitch, you need fifty followers. I've got twenty three at the moment on Twitch. Um, Five hundred total minutes broadcast. Seven unique broadcast days, which I've basically covered them, and then three or more concurrent viewers on average, which I've done luckily for thanks to people like you on the forum. So it's a lot easier to get monetized on Twitch. So that might be. I might, even though I'm thinking, I was thinking at the time YouTube probably is the way to go. I can still do both, but probably do better with Twitch because you get that interaction a lot quicker than you do, obviously, with the the video and that. So we'll just see how it goes. If I get monetized, I do, but I'm not expecting it for a while. Um, I'm doing well, though. Like I said, I'm, I mean, I know I cheated a little bit to get the subscribers up at the start, but I have had a, a, quite a few natural subscribers as well organic subscribers as they say so that's good so that will build up slowly over time um i'm not doing any more than promotions because it's just going to get me bots they're not that you're not going to get anything with bots yeah no i appreciate the support from the otf people like yourselves but yeah um yeah yeah have a drink on me sammy don't drink any alcohol though <laughs> i'm a bit joking mate get some uh, i had um it was down. It was the anniversary of my nan's death the other day, and I decided to have a drink for her. And I had some, had some. I can't remember what. I can't remember what brand it was. So, I don't know, Captain something. I can't remember, but it was rum. It was tropical rum, and I chopped it up with some cheap, cheap Aldi Fanta, and I put way too much rum in it. And I had a couple of sips, and I nearly vomited, so I didn't drink the rest. But I had technically, a, yeah, Morgan's. There we go. Thank you, Captain Morgan's. Um. So yeah, I had a couple of sips. I'm not really a, a, a big drinker. If I have a drink, it's usually a fruity cocktail. I'm not one for lagers and ciders and stuff like that. It's usually I usually just stick to spirits. But because I don't, because I'm a bit older now, I don't really. I, I never used to be a big drinker either, even when I was a kid. I went through a crazy stage for the last few months. I was 29, where I was panicking, thinking I was going to hit 30, and then my life was over. And I had a few mad nights at my mates getting absolutely smashed um and then waking up next day and literally dry heaving for about two days afterwards so yeah my poor liver but yeah i'm not really a big drinker but it was all right the 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 the, the captain morgan's tropical punch by the way uh, the tropical rum sorry it is quite nice actually it was just i think i just put too much in the the only glass i had at the time was one of them big wine glasses and i think i just put the the, the i just put too much in should have put less of that in and then more of the Fanta so it didn't taste too much of it. Right, so the next game we've got West Ham away, um, Sherpin, Livermento, Cotes, Diamande, Target, Botman, Pedro Gonzalez, Almiron, Raheem Diaz, Gordon, and Isa. But yeah, thank you to um, Popsy and Semi for the, the kind words. I do appreciate it. Yeah, it's it's sort of cheating in a way though, Sammy, because basically you just they, what they're doing is they're just getting bots to to click on your to either subscribe to you or click on you and view you basically. So that's just it's not cheating, and it is sort of cheating in a way, but not. But like it's I'd much if if looking back, I would have rather just not done the promotion. I only did it because I watched a video of this guy who did it, and it was quite successful. And I just thought for a laugh, I'll just I'll just stick to a ten pound budget. And see how many subscribers I can get. And I've done quite well. I've only spent in total about 20 quid. And I've managed to get like 500 subscribers. I've got 563. So I would say I would say some of them are my friends and some of them people on the OTF like yourselves. And then the rest are basically bots. But there's been there's a few people that have subscribed to me that are interested. And on Twitch, obviously Twitch as well, because I haven't done any promotion on Twitch. So any followers I get on Twitch are genuine people who like watching it like yourselves. So yeah. So no, I do appreciate it. Yeah, that's fine, Copsy. I'm probably going to be finished in uh, uh, about half four-ish, so don't stress too much, but I appreciate you joining me in the first place. Um, so, yeah, but thank you.
What are you up to for the rest of your night then, Sammy? Anything exciting? Are you going to be watching the football? Man United are playing Wigan. Me and Harry are going to be watching it. Harry's going to watch the game live. The poor side, I feel sorry for him. Not only is he going to be miserable, because Wigan will probably win, he's going to be freezing cold as well, especially up north. Of... Quiet game. I don't think there's been any highlights in this game. Or if they're out, there haven't been many highlights. West Ham look like the better team as well, which is really annoying. Um, oh, I forgot to take the bloody... That's why there was no highlights. I forgot to flip in, put it back on from the last game, didn't I? Sorry, everyone. Right, West Ham, there we go. At least you get to see the... Is this the goal, maybe? Or is this another highlight? If they score again in the space of a minute, I'm not going to be happy. Yeah, they got bloody Ward Browns, didn't they? Oh, we're flipping... We were lucky not to be losing two. I'm going to berate the team. See if that'll do anything. Yeah, so I'll probably be on here until half four-ish. I try and do two hours or just over two hours. Um, I won't be able to do much more than that because I've still got to edit the Everton video. I tried to do it earlier before the, before I started streaming, but I got back too late and then I, I completely balls up the edit, so I've got to start all over again, but hopefully it won't take me long. Oh, yes, go on. Go on, Isaac. Oh, here we go. Gold is allowed. Come on, VAR. Oh, that's all right. Thank God for that. At least we haven't lost this game. Well, I say that. I'll probably jinx the snow, but... Oh, yep, yeah, I'll definitely jinx the snow. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, the game starts at quarter past eight, so you might still have time. But yeah, no, I don't. I don't envy you, mate. You got, you know, you got a family life, and you, you you're doing well, mate. You, you know, if you're happy, you're happy. Um, yeah. Go on, go on. Yes, go on. Right, I'm just making sure the mic didn't fall over because the USB cable. I bought a bloody USB. A mini, a mic, one of them mini USB leads from my mic the other day. I put it in, accidentally tilted it the wrong way on the the, the stand I've got for it, and it broke the the, the metal thing inside it. So, I took it. so that was a waste. Of, I only spent three quid, but I literally used it once and it was broke. I'm using the uh, the USB lead I got from the Xbox controller now. Now and then, when I can be bothered to go to Panland, I'll go and get another one. Nice little win out of nowhere. I thought we were going to draw that, so yeah. Well done, we're praising. Well done, my friend. Uh, let's have a look how we're doing in the league now. Right, so we're six in the league with 33 games gone. 60 points. We've got, we've got one game ahead of Spurs. We keep swapping with Spurs. We keep We get fifth and then they get... We keep... I'm hoping we can stabilise it a bit because we've got a game ahead of them. So and that, and then we're only one point behind fourth place, Man United, and they they've got the same amount of games. Or so let's see how we get on. Oh, okay, Sammy, don't worry, go and get it, mate. I'm sorry if I kept you, but yeah, um, let me know what drink you end up getting in the end. It's because I got you all excited talking about Morgan's run, didn't I? That's what it was. <laughs> Oh, so annoyed. I was listening to this heavy metal workout uh, playlist on my YouTube music app the other day, and I and uh, it had Pantera Walk, and in my head for the last three days, I keep singing the song in my head. It's really driving me mad now. It's like a brain worm that I can't get out. All day today, I'm in humming it, going do 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 like that all bloody day. Because it reminds me of uh, our Rob Van Dam when he was in. ECW back in the 90s because that was his theme tune that was when uh, ECW somehow got away with having real music because their theme tunes could not get away with that now fair play to AEW though uh, Tony Khan he spends quite a bit of money making sure the wrestlers have certain theme tunes and that which cost him a fair bit 
I uh, absolutely loved it when Dan uh, Brian Danielson got to come down to Final Countdown by Europe. That was just a brilliant moment for me because I just obviously I remember him having that in Ring of Honor. I don't recommend listening to Pantera Walk because you will hate me because you'll end up coming it for about three days afterwards. So try not to uh, do it. We've got Spartak Moscow coming up now in the quarterfinal first leg. I'm hoping we can do better than we did last season. We got to the quarterfinals last season, but we lost to Dortmund. We've had an easier run of it this time. We we had Zenit and then we had Spartak Moscow. I'm hoping if we beat them, we'll get we'll, we'll have a big team. Then I think we might have Real Madrid by the looks of it. But that'll be at least we got to the semi-finals, so it's general progression. It's just that league position that's disappointed us because we've gone from first to potentially six. Anyway, right, Sherpin in goal. Livermento is right back. Cotes and Diomande in, mid, uh, in the middle of defence. Target is left back. Uh, Tanani and Bruno in midfield. Messi on the right. Pedro Gonzalez in the middle. Oh, I do apologise for burping. Sorry, it's that kind of monster working its way through me. Um, Almiron on the left. Almiron then played for a while, has he? Has he been injured? And then. Awesome men up front. What's everybody having for dinner then? Anything exciting? I, can't, I don't know what I'm having for my tea. I haven't looked yet. I'm hoping I've got something in the fridge I can uh, eat. I've been trying to be a bit smart with food consumption. So batch cook, me, me and my partner as well. Mostly my partner is batch cooking for us. And then putting it in some Tupperware boxes and freezing it. We're trying to, I'm trying to eat a bit healthier. I mean, I say that and then I had a Chinese on Saturday. But that was the first takeaway I had in a, in a while. Most of the time I've been eating relatively healthy. I always like to know what other people are eating because I'm a big foodie. Oh, uh, it just it just gets me gets me in the mood for eating. Hopefully I'm done and dusted and I can chill out ready for the Man United game. So hopefully I'll have that video editing done. Oh, for God's sake. That's not what we wanted. They're the underdogs. They're going to be up for this more than we are. We need to demand more. We should be beating these. All right, come on, let's see what we can do now. There we go, bombing forward. We've got three. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're playing nice football here. Let's go, exploiting the... Ah, come on. Get the ball, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Come on. Get back into possession now. No, 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 this is not working out. Oh, for God's sake. There's an upset on the cards here. Sammy, it's your fault for going off for a drink. I'd, I'd have been all right if you uh, stayed here. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only joking, buddy. Don't worry. Right, target now. Can we get, can we at least get a goal before the first half finishes? Give us a slight chance. If we can get it to two two for the next leg, I know it's the away leg, but at least it'll be equal playing field, and we can try and hopefully. On FM, I don't think it matters that much about the which ground you go to. Yes, go on, us in them. That gives us a hope. Hope. Hope is all we need. Yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> no, nah, I'm only joking. What drink did you get in the end then, Sammy? Anything exciting? Was it a normal drink of squash or was it a hot drink? Pretty hot drink in weather like this. Spartak, Moscow, all over us in this game. Got possession back now. Come on, Livermento. 
That's it. I thought we were going to lose that then. Go on, Messi. Show him more. You're the goat. Good little pass to Bruno. Bruno to Pedro with a lovely little Hollywood pass to Austin. Then go on. Oh, here we go. Referee. The Russians have paid him off. Ah, oh, referee. Come on. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, if you get something for free, you're going to exploit that, didn't you? I oh, don't blame you. When it's weather like this, no wonder you... Oh, oh, don't blame you for going to get coffee all the time. Oh, nearly scored then. What are you having for tea then, Sammy? Any ideas? Well, that's a good football Spartak, I tell you now. They surprised me. I thought we'd just steamroll past them, but they're doing very well. Have they still got that player that, that's like at about 80? 